Counter Strike just released a brand new update that is jam packed full of features that I'm really, really excited about. It isn't stuff like you know, revamping the VAC system like we've all been waiting for, but they did add a lot more stuff that I think you should be really, really excited for. I'm going to break down the most important features that is brand new in Counter-Strike 2 and that you should be excited for. Let's go get 20 likes on this video. Let's move on. Well, first of all, if you do see anything that you actually like, you can feel free to pause the video and just read through that uh, transcript. But I'm going to highlight the most important things that I think is really, really important for CS2 and how it actually affects the game at the end of the day. Right. First of all, I want to go into the preferred view model left and right settings. This is something really, really exciting that a lot of people used in Counter-Strike Global Offensive, but it was kind of left out in CS2. There were some ways to kind of mimic it unfortunately they did remove that but now they added it as an in-game setting and not only adding the view model changing from left to right setting but they also added a hotkey to change between the two now the default hotkey is like h so that's not the best hotkey since i thrown away my weapon multiple times just trying to change to the left hand model so i changed mine to the mouse button 5 which uh, makes it a lot easier but also not something that you would do accidentally so that's that's kind of cool in any case how this will help a lot of people is obviously left-handed players will be able to play on the left hand side and it will feel much more comfortable but the way they showcase it is you can kind of now when you're peeking a left corner peek the corner with the left hand model and then switch to the right when you're doing the right hand corner now it doesn't actually give you an advantage but visually it does look like you are you know peeking that corner and i think cognitively it's gonna feel like you can react faster and it's gonna give you a kind of bit of an edge even though it is just a visual thing and it actually holds no advantage but that's the first thing that i'm really excited for i don't know how but i almost forgot that this very important update to the hud they added a grenade lineup reticle that appears shortly after pulling the pin which you can actually adjust the timing with that so every single time you use a util you will get a utility reticle on your screen or cross on your screen that you can use to actually practice and you know just use for lineups very quickly so that's going to help especially new players and a lot of veteran players alike which is game changing in more than one way the second thing that is pretty cool but it's technically not going to change anything is the kill feed icon for in air kills now you will see when you jump with a uh, any weapon actually in the game and you get a kill you will see a little wing on your kill feed along with all the other stuff that you actually you know got the kill with it looks cool but i mean that's that's about the way that ends then we have which is very very important a dropped weapons panel which shows and allows the direct pickup of weapons that have been dropped by teammates that are standing in the buy zone also no more throwing your teammate a weapon and it's just too far to reach and you have to run when the round starts and it wastes a bunch of time and stuff like that so you can just directly click on it you have the weapon you can go and do your thing the next thing that is a really really big change is that they reduced the xm 101 for skill reward from 900 to 600 dollars and then now it's 300 dollars in casual the reason this is very big is because the shotguns were abused and overused in counter-strike 2 because it's so easy to get a kill with it and you get so much more money so you can buy an op in basically two to three rounds max if you use the shotgun now with the xm 1014 being so overpowered it's just a little bit harder to do that but not impossible right moving on one of the biggest changes i think personally of this whole update is the fact that they added dust 2 to the active duty group by removing overpass now a lot of people and i mean a lot of people have been asking for this because dust 2 is counter-strike at the end of the day you know there's a meme going around or there has been a meme going around for years and years and years that if a game has the ability to create maps in it there is going to be a dust too just check any and every single game you can play that you can add maps yourself or have other people or modders add maps there's going to be a dust too because dust too at the end of the day is just counter-strike it is one of the most legendary and one of the best og maps out there and probably what the most balanced and now it is in the active duty group so you can play that in premier competitive casual wherever you want to go you can now play dust 2 moving on to the arguably at least the best 
best thing of this entire update is they added the overwatch system to enable match demo review by trusted partners yes that is correct overwatch is back baby and i'm for one heavily excited about that i can't wait to do overwatch cases with you guys it's going to be insane as most of you the og people of this channel will know the og 10 army legends will know i kind of built this entire channel in the beginning at least with overwatch cases and it was a hell of a ride i missed it so much it does make me feel a little bit safer when it comes to the game because now i know that even though vac is kind of still being worked on this somewhat of a layer of protection with overwatch so yes overwatch let's go a quick tad bit something is the copenhagen 2024 major sticker capsules are now on sale 75 percent also open those now i think it's the only time we're actually gonna get something probably worth more than the capsule maybe at least i'm gonna open a bunch of them so on stream so come and check that out tomorrow night at 6 p.m cat and that is basically it you can like i said feel free to read through any of the updates or you can just follow the blog news updates whatever website that i will link in the description down below i want to know what is the best thing about this new update that you have been waiting for or that you are excited about and what do you think they should add to the game next let me know in the comment section down below i do reply to basically everybody so uh, we can get a conversation going there at least just drop an emoji for the youtube algorithm to show some engagement with that being said 20 likes on this video that would be appreciated subscribe like and I will see you with the next CS2 update where I will also showcase the most important parts of the entire update. See you there.